Let's go. Let's go back inside. It's kind of out of our element right now. But uh, I like going to the Costco because you get a ten dollar pizza. It lasts me a couple days. And I stock up here on food and gas. Got some cheap gas. And uh, it's quiet right now because uh, it's a weekday. The dogs like it here more because it's quiet and uh, it's not a rest area. We stopped at a couple of rest areas leaving Oregon. And uh, of course, big trucks always park next to us. When they let out the, their air brakes, Dodger hates that. He really freaks out. And uh, this is exciting for me because I'm hungry right now. My stomach is rumbling. We've just been driving all day. I got some treats in Costco for the dogs and uh, they're gone. They ate them. So that was kind of a waste of money, but it was a big bag of treats, so I got some more left. Uh, I'm trying these pants, and uh, you know, I think I'll probably put a hole in these pretty quick. They'll probably tear really quick, but you know, I can return them right away at Costco, so we'll put them to the test. They were like 18 bucks. All right, the pizza, this is the best part, so I'm gonna dig into this. Oh, that's so good. Pretty consistent pizza at Costco, 10 bucks plus tax, so in Idaho, it was like 10.50 out the door and so I, I'll eat half of that in one day. Sometimes I eat the whole thing, you know. I'll save the rest, it can last me three, three days, three, four days. Ice cream bars, that's a treat. These are really good. Kale, I like this kale stuff, makes good salad, put that on burgers. The salmon is really good. This is really good stuff. Uh, it's like 16 bucks, so it's a little expensive, but it's totally worth it, because it's super good. Super good salmon, I got some, uh, Veggie burgers, Beyond Burgers here. This is kind of a new thing. It was on sale for five bucks, so I thought I'd try that. I don't usually get juice or any beverages at all. I don't get orange juice or soda pop. I just drink water. But um, I'm kind of craving this because uh, I've been driving a lot. Like I said, I got my cheese, got cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, and a bunch of avocados. You guys never lay like that. We've been in the woods for a couple months straight and now we're at a rest area where it's kind of noisy and we got the freeway out there you guys are snuggling for comfort <laughs> you guys never do that So Dodger hates the rest areas. He didn't poop for almost 24 hours. I kept stopping at rest areas, but those loud trucks, he hates them. And so he kind of freaks out and he didn't poop. He usually doesn't do that. Usually we'll still poop. So uh, I decided to come to this place because I knew we'd be out in the wilderness. And right when we got out of the truck, Dodger pooped right out here in the grass out here. It's uh, really a quiet place. I've camped out here before a couple years ago, but this time I stopped kind of on this road about a mile and a half short of where I've camped before. And it's up that way, there's a lake up there. And this is a really neat area, but there's a kind of a lot going on right now. This road's really busy. You can see that fire there. And I hiked up this this hill over the camper there and it's probably about we probably hiked um, almost a mile up there and you get up pretty high and you could really see it growing and but now it's huge i couldn't see this smoke earlier from from down here and um a couple vehicles with sirens were going up here the fire service went up here and actually i mean it's pretty big like i'm probably should get out of here i think it's supposed to rain tonight so we'll probably be okay 
I'm going to stay here one more night, um, but I'm aimed down this road. I can take off in uh, pretty quickly. I can just go right off this road right here. So I feel pretty safe. And there's people still camped up, like I said, about a mile and a half up this way. But what else has been going on here is while we're camped here on the side of this road, I guess there's a lot of people out hunting. Someone came and pulled up right here. You can see their tire tracks. They pulled up right into our campsite. The guy got out with his uh, rifle, and I just haven't had anybody pull out a gun in my campsite before, so I got a little scared because I didn't realize that, oh, there's deer out here in this field. I don't know if you can see them. There's three deer out there. They've been out there pretty much all day. People keep stopping and, and uh, looking at these deer, and they look like hunters in the, in the trucks. And, um, yeah, this one guy got out right here in front of my truck with his uh, rifle and a, a pretty big optical scope on it. And he sighted it with his scope and he, he aimed it out there. And so I was like, okay, he must be going after something that's out there. And so then I saw these deer out there and I heard him say something like, oh, they're too far away. Uh, but I was getting prepared. I was like, oh, Dodger's going to hate that if he hears a gunshot go off. And then I'm going to hate seeing a deer get killed out there you know i mean i'm not a hunter like you know it's cool if people want to hunt or whatever but i don't know if that's proper to like pull into somebody's camp and then maybe he wasn't going to shoot it maybe he was just scoping it to see how far away it was and then they'd go out here into this field and then go shoot him they but they didn't go out there to shoot him the way he pulled off it was right here and so he would have had to shoot across the road which i'm uh, that's illegal i know that you're not supposed to shoot across a road this is a pretty busy road right here. Lots of vehicles coming by. Um, but um, they haven't been shot, you know. Several vehicles have stopped here all day that I've noticed, and they're looking at them. A couple people came back and forth. So, you know, put it down in the comments. Let me know what the what's the etiquette and what's the what's the actual rules. What are the laws? I'm here in Idaho, so, you know, maybe things are a little different than what I'm used to. That would have been kind of, of a bummer for me to be just like, here watching these deer and then have somebody shooting them from my campsite. Uh, but I get it. That's, you know, that's the way it is. People are hunting for food. There's a cabin right out here, which is pretty neat. And uh, this isn't BLM land out here. This is like a farmer's land. They got cows back there. Um, so I don't think it's really public land. I think it's private property. So I'm not going to cross over there and go check out that cabin i mean it's just a rundown like old farmhouse it looks really cool though i'd like to go check it out but it's nice and, and the dogs are really glad that we're not at a rest area anymore so i'm happy hey thanks for checking out the got out channel dogs and i have been living uh, the nomad lifestyle for two years now and putting out videos to help all of you learn about nomad life hit that like button for us let us know you're watching we like to know you're watching we're still making our way to quartzite we should be there uh, in a few days looking forward to that but in the meantime this place is pretty cool and man at night it's uh, dead silent here there's no vehicles on the road and the stars are as starry as you could imagine it's insane it's the moon's not out right now so the stars are i mean it's intense it's pretty intense it's raining now which is good news it actually was pouring for the last few hours here kind of a slow morning for us because of the cold and the wetness it's not too exciting to get outside you know it's really just like being back home for us out here in uh, washington state it's pretty out here and it's also really cold my hands are freezing so we're excited to get out of here get back on this road and uh we're gonna head about 100 miles to stay at a rest area i know dodger's not looking forward to that but check out mr echo here there's dodgers getting into some stuff there's some guts over here from deer a couple deers the hunters left the stomach linings out it's pretty disgusting 
the dogs keep wanting to go over there and check it out. But check out Mr. Echo over here. <laughs> Echo. How you feel, Echo? You shivering. Echo's cold. He's a little bit cold this morning. I don't blame him. It's pretty cute, though. <laughs> so we're going to get in the truck and get him warmed up. You want to go in the truck? Yeah? You want to go in the truck? You want to go in the truck? Let's go in the truck. Yeah. You want to get warmed up in the truck, huh? Echo. Echo up. There we go. Hey, dog. We got lots of dog food for them. Try and keep them warm. It always sucks when you get wet dogs in the, in the truck, but uh, not much you can do. <laughs> Doesn't happen too often anymore. We're staying in the desert. Oh, my hands are freezing. Gotta get my gloves out. So, I'm trying to head, head out on the road here as quick as possible. So, it means I'm not checking the trailer as much as I usually do. Usually, I check it about three times before I hit the road. So, you want to check the fridge is like the main thing. I've heard horror stories of that thing opening up while you're on the road. And uh, that can be a real disaster. So, make sure that's closed. You know, I did check everything else. Of course, I check all the cupboards. All the windows are secured. Um, but this is kind of a, a fast exodus for us. Get the trailer step up. You know, the land out here is pretty nice. Tires are in good shape. Check all the doors on the outside. Make sure I didn't forget anything tied up. Because, you know, I got the leads. I tie up the leads to the trailer for the dogs when they're out here. Don't ever want to leave one of those out. Um, give the trailer a quick check back here. Make sure uh, all the batteries are secured. Just do a quick double check. Check the chains. I'll check the chains um, once I start the truck. And I got to hook up the power. And then we're basically ready to go i'll check the locks check the pin make sure that's secure check these cables here i'm just pointing them out right now but i'll check them once the truck is started check all these vent covers here make sure they're all secured make sure everything's closed down my knobs are all tight gonna be a decent little drive only about 100 miles to the rest area so so it shouldn't be too bad really got my rain jacket out I haven't had this out for a while Really looking forward to hitting the road. We've got a cold front coming in, so it's pretty important to get out of here. Uh, we're gonna actually see some snow. We're gonna get into Utah today, and there's gonna be some snow in there, uh, probably maybe tonight, probably tomorrow. So we're gonna keep heading towards uh, Vegas. We're gonna drive right through Vegas. I ain't stopping in Vegas. Don't even, don't even think I'm stopping there. We're gonna drive right through Vegas. We might go to Pahrump on the way to Quartzsite. Might just go uh, straight from Vegas to Quartzsite. But uh, once we get down in that area, the weather's gonna be a lot nicer. We'll probably be looking at around uh, 70 to 80 degrees. So I'm looking forward to that. We could use that right now. Get in the truck, get warmed up and uh, hit the road. I'm actually excited to drive in the rain a little bit. Uh, gets everything clean, gets the whole rig on the outside nice and clean. You know, I did get a car wash a while ago, but it doesn't last long once you get out on these dirt roads, which will be nice driving on this road now because it's not gonna be dusty. All right, thanks for sticking with us on the Got Out channel. Hopefully you can find time for yourself to get out a little bit. You know, we do this full time. We live on the road and we, we're mostly 90% 90, 90 of the time, 95% of the time we're in wild places like this. I know not everybody can do that, but uh, if you can do it a little bit, a trip here and there for yourself, it's pretty rewarding. We love it. Well, this is pretty funny. I was excited because the rain like really cleaned up the whole rig, the truck and the trailer. It was like kind of almost spotless. Hasn't been that clean for a while, but we had to drive, you know, eight or 10 miles down this road and uh, it's a dirt road the whole way. <laughs> and it's kind of a, not too rough of a road, but it's a little rough. And uh, we didn't stay very clean. <laughs> like this is the dirty, the dirtiest that uh, my rig has been. You know, look at even back here in the back of the trailer. <laughs> it's just all mud, like all the way up to here. I mean, it, the mud 
the mud is like all the way up here you know halfway up the trailer it's pretty heavy down here you know i know it could be worse so i'm hoping once we get on the freeway here it'll get washed off again it's really not a big deal it's just i'm just shocked like how nasty we got <laughs> after being so clean